show you will have it. You'll just make fools of yourselves. Hmm. I think you got that backwards, Doc. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to a boss fight. <laughs> I know, kind of a weird way to start, I admit, but, um, again, the last video went on for very long, so I wanted to make sure we just kind of got to business straight away here. Uh, so, anyway, uh, welcome to the boss fight, the first boss fight of the game. Uh, boss fights, uh, these work pretty similarly to how they would work in the other Sonic Adventure games. You have to take down, usually, a giant uh, robot of Eggman's. And um, along the way, you can pick up like some level up capsules from uh, enemies and stuff. That's pretty much what we're doing. Uh, you also get ranked. Uh, you're given like a lettered rank for the boss fights as well, which is something different compared to um, how it was in like you know the Sonic Adventure games. You didn't actually get ranked on the boss fights, uh, but here you actually do. And um, you have to be pretty fast for a lot of these. They kind of ex expect you to know the mechanics of this game in and out, and the best way to take down these guys. Normally a team blast usually does the trick. So, I went ahead and got enough goodies to get a team blast. And this should be over pretty quickly. Oh yeah, because Knuckles doing a lot of damage. I could get hit there. There we go. This isn't the end. All right. Wow, way to leave your giant robot just on the beach like this. So I'm gonna say probably a C rank. I wanna say you need to do that in like 30 seconds to get an A rank. Oh, that would be maybe just a minute. I could have probably ignored those enemies that I went for and just did a huge attack on them, like when I when he actually stopped. But eh, it is what it is. Like I said before, I'm not trying to get A ranks in this playthrough. And yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the third stage. We have Grand Metropolis. Rescue the city under the control of Eggman. Looks like Eggman escaped into the city. Eggman's robots are taking control of everything. Let's find Eggman and show him the real power of teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. And automated energy plant. Energy plant? So that's energy flowing through those red pipes. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much the theme of this level. We're going to be going through kind of like, kind of an energy plant of sorts. Kind of gives me some flashbacks to like the chemical plant zone a little bit. Kind of a hybrid of chemical plant and metropolis, I guess, from Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 2. Okay. Maybe not completely, maybe less metropolis, but still. Leave it to me, let's go! Obviously an energy plant of some kind. We're not going there, are we? Yes, we are. Looks like Eggman. Okay, and also another thing you can do with speed characters is for enemies like that, enemies that are very defensive, you can actually do like kind of a tornado attack on them with Sonic. And that'll actually turn them over so you can actually hit them in another way. Also, uh, power characters can interact with these things, push them in to open up a room full of goodies. Like a level up capsule. Ooh, how nice. Sonic's actually pretty well leveled up right now. Let's go ahead and give, uh, let's give Knuckles a level up. His Tails has a level up now too, so just give everyone at least one level up at the very least. See right there, we do have a uh, key. Uh, one thing you can do with these things, as you can see, there's like three different buttons on these. If you actually uh, hit all three of these buttons, uh, you'll actually get like five rings. It's kind of a fun little thing. If you want to aim for rings, which again, rings are important if you want to get the, uh, you know, A ranks and everything. So, you know, just to get a little extra boost if you have some time, just stop and get some rings, you know. It'll also fill up the Team Blast meter as well, so yeah, there is definitely benefits in more than one way. Okay, so we got level up with Tails. And that was the power formation, so that's why I switched to that. But yeah, this level's kind of cool. This is probably one of my more favorite levels of this game, the Grand Metropolis level. I just really like the blue paths and... It just really has a nice flow to it. It's, you know, not super easy like the last levels were. But, you know, it's just very, very... It's still very 
calm and chilling, I guess, in a good way. But, you know, it does kind of start, like, ramping up the difficulty a little bit. It's better than what they do with the frickin' third world of this game, which we'll get into that later, I'm sure. Unfortunately, we did lose the, uh... Um, key, so we'll have to get that again later. Um, oh, that was just a one-up. Okay, never mind. Okay. Knuckles, you should be able to handle this. Sonic, you don't need any more level ups. Anyhow, yeah, much like the other Sonic uh, adventure games, you can also use the light speed dash with the speed character. It's a good way to get, like, uh, not only some extra points and rings, but um, you know, you kind of find some cool routes if you do that as well, so. There's always a reason to do stuff of that nature, I think. Okay, so right here, we're going to need to use the wall jump for Sonic. I'm going to drop right here just so I can... Oh, I was going to do that, but... Makes sense to do this, because with Sonic, we do have the... Uh, Highest level right now. That's it. Yes. Those coins go down here. To do that, you just press the B button when you're hovering above an enemy, so it's not that difficult to do. Okay, so we still need a level up with Knuckles. Knuckles. Okay, yeah, Knuckles can handle those guys now with just normal attacks, which is good. Sonic, we don't need level ups for you. I think they just will still give, like, extra points and everything, but still, like, I'm trying to get a level up for Knuckles. Okay. That guy has a shield, so let's use the Thunder Shoot to waste that shield, then we'll waste that guy. See? It's, it's fun to do things like that. Whee. Okay, Knuckles, get your level up, buddy. Yeah, basically, whenever you reach, like, a, a checkpoint, you'll get a level up with whatever character you're currently using. So that's how you get that. So you have to use the tornado on those things with Sonic if you want to get through those. Yeah, nice job with the light speed. Uh... Okay, yeah, drop. Why is that door? Oh, that's why. There was a button. I can't Let believe Sonic I didn't see the button. Of this. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing the. I'm not seeing another key. But again, this is the Act One stage, so getting the key is not that important. I guess we'll go ahead and show this with the, the power character since we haven't yet. Basically, this is what happens with the power characters. You just shoot forward and you can aim the cannon in whatever direction you want. Oh god, grind rails. I will say this now, I hate grind rails in the Sonic Adventure games, and it's pretty bad in this game too, if I'm being honest. Let's just say they still haven't fixed it. Nor have they, I think they've really found a way to do grind rails cor uh, correctly in this series. I don't know what it is, it just doesn't, has never really felt right to me. Okay, let's go ahead and use Team Blast. I don't think there's that many enemies here, but... getting close to the end. Oh, hey, it's those... Cars! Oh, shoot. Oh, God, this could be a problem. Actually, that no, was fun. <laughs> Remember that thing I said that wasn't actually a problem? Well, it wasn't a problem. Okay, well that's Grand Metropolis done. Let's go ahead and see if we uh, get an S rank or an A rank for our troubles. A rank. There are no S ranks, thank God. Didn't really use the fly formation a lot in this level. 
You didn't get over 50,000 points, which is a C Barely rank. Made. Oh, man. We did not do a very good job that time. Oh, well. That's, again, why I don't really want to go for the A ranks, because they can just be really tough, tough to get in some respects. There's a lot you have to do to uh, get those A ranks. So now we're going to the power plant. Escape from the chaotic plant. This is kind of more of the same backdrop, but we will have some unique gimmicks and stuff that we're not to deal with. And yeah, Tails just said the line. The head spinning line. I will say right now, I'm not a huge fan of Tails' voice in this game. Um, Tails is one of my favorite characters in the Sonic franchise. Knuckles is probably my favorite character, but um, Tails is an easy second, because I just really love the character arc that he has in like the adventure games. And I always thought he was cool. He's the flying fox, and he's pretty adorable as well. I just do not like the voice they use in this game. It's a different take on it. I'm not saying the voice is bad. Like, I'm not trying to insult the kid that did his voice in this game. It's not about that. I just I just don't think it's very fitting, especially after the adventure games, since these kind of take place... This game takes place after the adventure games, after all. So I think, like, because of that, like... Um, uh, I, I think that the voice should have, if anything, sounded more mature, because... That was kind of the big thing about Tails' voice in Sonic Adventure 2. It sounds more confident than it was in Sonic Adventure 1 because you had the arc that he went through in Adventure 1. In this game, I don't know, it just kind of sounds like he de-aged a couple of years. <laughs> and I don't know, he just sounds like kind of whiny more than like the confident character that he became in uh, Adventure 2, basically. That's just my take on it. Again, I'm not trying to insult the voice actor or the voice itself it's just i just don't think it's very fitting i think they could have maybe done like maybe got a different voice for it but, what's done is done Oh, there is. <laughs> Maybe that enemy was blocking the cage. That's probably what was happening. So one thing I'm going to try to do a little more, like, well, one thing you definitely want to do um, when you're trying to get, like, A-ranks and stuff is, like, you want to find the best place to use your team blasts. Because not only will the team blasts, uh, like, you know, give you points, but it also stops the timer for a little bit, so you can actually, like, kind of save some time by not fighting certain enemies. But if you use your Team Blast too early, you might use it against, like, maybe three foes when there's, like, a room with six foes later up, like, a few seconds later. So you have to be kind of careful with how you use the Team Blast, please. You may use it incorrectly. You may use it at a place where you don't really need to, so... There's kind of uh, some strategy with that when you're kind of going through this game. Let's go! It's all about finding what's uh, the best use of the team was. Can I grab that please? Thank you. Oh boy! Can I get up there? Oh yeah, I, I can. Flight characters. When you see like little medals like that, um, that's basically signifying that you need to use uh, the flight character, basically. Leave it to me. Let's go. You aim at that, you know, get some goodies. Okay, so, uh, these, uh, Leave it to me. Let's go. these electricity enemies are kind of annoying. Your other characters will get stunned if you use any other formation that isn't the, the flight formation and the thunder shot. That looked like there was another Sonic level up right there. <laughs> Sonic, don't be greedy. This is Sonic Heroes. Yeah, Sonic Heroes! No, that means you have partners, Sonic. <laughs> Let your partners get some of the action. No! I'm Sonic! <laughs> oh, Sonic. Yes. 
You know what? Let's just go ahead and use Team Blast for this one. Just so I don't have to deal with them again. I missed out on getting those rings, though, which is a little unfortunate. It can be very dangerous using the speed characters on this sometimes. You have to be very, very careful. You don't go too fast and go flying off the stage. Let's go ahead. I need to try to get Knuckles to the next checkpoint so he can level up. So if we can keep this for the rest of the level, I will go ahead and say right now when I do get um, all of the um, Chaos Emeralds, if I don't have them all by the end of the main part of the playthrough, I'll just do Team Rose because Team Rose has the shortest and easiest levels. They're probably the best to get the Chaos Emeralds with if I'm being real. I don't think there's any shame in using Team Rose in that fashion either, because getting the Chaos Emerald sucks. The process of actually getting them and the stages themselves are pretty bad, so... No one should feel any shame for using Team Rose to get the Chaos Emerald. More power to those who, you know, don't need to, but like... Whatever. <laughs> those stages are stupid anyway. I'm going kind of slowly through this stage. This is not going to be a good ranking, I don't think. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Here we go! Sonic should be good for this. Because he's leveled up that little way. See, it's kind of cool how, like, you're doing a section like this, and, like, how you have to switch between all the different characters. It's... Again, just kind of shows how, I think, well the actual, like, team gimmick of this game works. Like, I, th I think that's what's great about this game, is I think they handled the team gimmick, like, extraordinarily well. It's just the execution of the levels around the team gimmick is what's kind of questionable. I need to use a character that's not Tails for these troubles. Maybe I can do damage to the turtles now that Tails is fully leveled up, but that's probably not something I'm going to actively test. Here we go. Okay, so there's a checkpoint. Another one of these sections. I'm trying to be as careful as possible since I do have... Not only all these rings, but also the key as well. So all these fire bars. What is this freaking Mario? <laughs> Did Robotnik bow b borrow some fire bars from Bowser's castle or something? <laughs> uh, what? I don't know what he did there, but it worked, so I shouldn't complain. I guess, I guess. It's really weird. It's like I targeted those enemies without even meaning to. Really weird. Okay, Tails, switch back to you. Ha! Awesome. Let's keep going. Whee! That was fun. Yeah, as you can see, this is a very long level, too. This level's been going on for quite a bit. We're almost at 10 minutes here. I think this is the last part of it. I'm gonna leave that key box there in case I, like, die here. Because this is actually a section that's fairly easy to die at. 
I recommend being in flight formation just to kind of have like a saving grace here. Let Sonic take care of this. Shoot. Ready anytime. Oh my god, am I gonna live? I don't know how I live that. I shouldn't complain though. Oh my god. No! Run! Hit the button! I did it! I survived! <laughs> Oh man, that was stressful. Yes. So yeah, that took about 10 minutes. We'll see what our rank is here. I'm gonna say probably a C or maybe even a D. I don't know. I feel like I didn't really get a lot of points throughout that stage. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think we lost the key too. Yeah, so no Chaos Emerald for us. But before we wrap up this video, we're going to go ahead and do the boss fight. And this is a very different kind of boss fight. Gotcha, my darling Sonic. Amy, what are you doing here? Sonic, this time there's no way out of marrying me. Say hello to the team fights of this game. What are the team fights? Well, let's just watch. Playing with that girl's heart again, Sonic. Let's go. I my team. I feel dumb. Got it. Oh. All right. The team fights are stupid. <laughs> they they should be so much cooler than they actually are. They're pretty lame. Hey, we got an Sorry, A rank for it though. We're in a bit of a rush. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we continue on with more of Sonic Heroes. See you guys then. Later, folks.